Hi, I'm John Murphy with InfoLink Consulting. In this video, the third in the series, you will learn how to set up the ODBC data source connection to Cognos BI. Before we get started with the demo, let's cover a few things you will need to do if you want to publish from SPSS Modeler to Cognos BI. First, install the appropriate version of the SPSS Data Access Pack for your application and install the appropriate driver for the database where you will write to from SPSS Modeler. Second, set up a database where you will write to from SPSS Modeler. Work with your database administrator as necessary. You do not need to specify the database table or fields. These can be propagated from SPSS Modeler. Next, set up a data source in IBM Cognos Administration. Work with your Cognos BI Administrator as necessary. You will have to provide a name for the data source, the type of data you want to connect to, and the sign-on credentials for this connection. I'm now within Windows Explorer. I'll navigate to the SPSS Data Access Pack. Because I'm running the 64-bit Windows version of SPSS Modeler, I want to install the 64-bit Windows version of the SDAP installer. I'll right-click on it, select Run as Administrator, and wait while the program prepares to install. I'll click Next, accept the terms in the license agreement, and click Next. The proposed installation location is fine, so I'll click Next again, and then click Install. I'll click Done to install the SPSS Data Access Pack. Click Next. In my case, I've already installed the SDAP software on my computer, so I'll go into Modify Settings and show you how you can select drivers to install and not to install. If you were installing for the first time, you would not encounter this screen. I'll click Next. And then I want to point out drivers uh, from the SDAP that are, that are installed are selected with the, um, the drive icon. This feature will be installed on your hard drive. And those to not be installed get a red X, which is this feature will not be available. Right. So this, I had made my selections. Click Next. And then you would click Install. Since I've already installed the drivers I want and haven't made changes, I'm going to click Cancel and cancel out of this, this option. Click Finish and Exit. Before we continue, I'd like to cover some important points regarding the ODBC drivers. Be sure to install the version of the SPSS Data Access Pack, also known as SDAP, that matches the bitness of your application. What matters is whether the SPSS model or application on the machine where you are publishing from, server or client, is 64-bit or 32-bit. The database that you write to can be either 32-bit or 64-bit, as long as that database version is included in the supported software environments. Use the SDAP drivers and preferably use the wire protocol versions where they are available. They're simpler to set up and work well. If the driver for your database isn't included with the SDAP, obtain it directly from the database vendor. Even if you don't use an SDAP provided driver, you still need to install the SDAP. It provides the driver manager. I will be configuring a connection to a SQL Server 2012 database. Now we'll set up an ODBC data connection. I will find and launch the ODBC data source administrator right-clicking on the icon and selecting Run as Administrator. 
I can set up a user-based, a system-based, or a file-based data source name. A user-based data source name is restricted to my user profile. A system-based data source name is restricted to all users with access rights to this computer. File-based data sources can be shared among all users who have the same drivers installed. These data sources need not be user dedicated or local to a computer. I will set up a user data source name, making sure the user DSN tab is active. I click on add. I'll scroll down to find the appropriate driver. In my case, I'll select the IBM SPSS OEM 7.1 SQL native wire protocol driver and click Finish. In the dialog, I'll enter the data source name. This data source name must match the data source name set in IBM Cognos administration. I'll enter Murphy underscore test. Optionally, you can add a description. I'll enter connection to SQL test database. Enter the host name. I'll enter sql1.infolink.local. I'll leave the port number at the value provided for SQL Server 2012. For the database, I'll enter SPSS underscore Murphy underscore test. This is the name of the SQL Server 2012 database I created. Next, I'll go to the security tab. I'll enter a username. This is my database username. Select authentication method one, encrypted password. In my case, uh, leave encryption method set at zero, and I'll click on uh, test connection. When the pop-up appears, log on to SQL Server Wire Protocol. I'll provide my database password. and click OK. That connection is established. I click OK and then click OK again. And now our data source has been set up in the ODBC drivers. Click OK to complete. In the next video, we will configure the IBM Cognos export node and publish to Cognos. Thanks for watching.